So let us start the next chapter which is the combinational circuit. First of all we will start with some basic combinational circuit like half header, full header, half subtractor, full sub subtractor and comparator. And then we move on to some slightly complex com combinational circuit like multiplexer, demultiplexer, ROM etc. Okay, and quarters and decoders included. So first one will the first combinational circuit. Okay, before we start combinational circuit, let me tell you uh, the circuits which we are going to make are of two types. Number one are the combinational circuit, are the combinational circuit, and the second type of circuit which we are going to make are called as sequential circuit. Are called as sequential circuits. So, what is the difference between a combinational circuit and a sequential circuit? In the combinational circuit, the current output is not dependent on the previous output. Right? Current output or you say, if, if you, for example, if you have a circuit like this, if you have a circuit like this, now the output of the circuit, the output of the circuit is only dependent on the current input. Is only dependent on the current input. It does not. Uh, it is not dependent on the previous input. Now, in case of sequential circuit, generally what happens is, this is a sequential circuit. Now, the output, the, or you can say the current output, mostly dependent on the previous input, which we remember in the form of state, or you can say this. We are going to have some kind of memory element, and then we give this memory element as input. So you can say the current output is dependent on current input as well as the previous output or you can say as well as the previous state but in case of combinational circuit the current output is only dependent on the current input okay <coughs> so the first combinational circuit which we are going to make is the half header is the half header is the half header half header is uh, we are going to add two bits of information for example let, let me tell you if you add 0 and 0 then it is going to give you a 0 so we are going we are performing a binary addition here so i am assuming that you already know what is a binary ad addition so if you add 0 and 1 then the sum we are going to get is 1 here the sum we are going to get is 0 and the carry you are going to get is 0 and here the carry you are going to get is 0 if you add adding 1 and 0 then the sum which you are going to get is 1 but the carry which you are going to get is 0 if you add 1 and 1 if you add 1 and 1 then the sum you are going to get is 0 and the carry which you will get is 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2 so that is uh, 1 0 so sum is 0 and the carry is 1 so we need to add two bits and assuming that the first bit we are representing by a and the second bit we are representing by b so you can say uh, we can make a circuit like this this is a this is b this is a function which is representing sum and this is a function which is representing a carry a function which is representing a carry so the combination of a b can be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 if you add 0 and 0 then the sum is 0 and the carry is 0 if you add 0 and 1 if you add 0 and 1 the sum is 1 and the carry is 0 if you add 1 and 0 then the sum is 1 and the carry is 0 if you add 1 and 1 then the sum is 0 and the carry is 1 now to implement the circuit, assume this is represented by the function f1 and this is represented by the function f2. Then if you want to implement this particular circuit, to implement the circuit you can make a k-map for f f1 as well as you can make a k-map for f2. But simply you can clearly say it is representing an XOR gate and it is representing an AND gate. But still let us assume this is the function f1. This is representing the function f1. We are having the input which is a and b. a and b this is a complement this is a this is b complement and this is b so here in the case of sum we are at 0 0 we are going to get 0 at 0 1 we are going to get 1 at 1 0 we are going to get 1 at 1 1 we are going to get 0 so this is a k map for sum and in the same way if you make a k map for carry and if you make a k map for carry this is for carry this is a complement this is a this is b complement this is b then carry is one when both a and b both are one so this is one and everything else is zero right so sum can also be presented like this you can clearly see sum here can also be presented like a xor b and here carry can also be presented like this carry is a b therefore if you want to make a circuit for this 
then there are two ways of making a circuit first of all either you can only represent the sum uh, by and an or gate or you can use an xor gate so in case of a uh, half header uh, if this is a and this is b now if you do a xor b if you implement a xor gate like this so this is going to give you the sum and if you do perform an and gate on this if you are performing an and gate then this is representing a carry then this is representing a carry so sum can also be represented like this sum this sum can also be represented like this a complement b plus a b complement right so either you can make a smaller circuit like this or you can only use and and or gate and not gate so if you are using that method then you can also represent the same circuit like this this is a this is b first is a complement b so you have to take a complement of a so assume this is complement of a so this is a complement b this is going to give you a complement b and you can also do like this this is a and this is b complement this is a b complement and then you can take an or gate between them then this is representing a complement b plus a b complement which is actually sum and again you can take one more gate like this and gate which is representing the carry or you can say ab so this is the most simplest circuit which is a half header and a half header is used to add two bits of information now let us look at what is a half subtractor